going the distance with local sports. This is the X Sports Network. with local sports. This is the X Sports Network. Are you looking for a non-factory job environment? Livingstone Freight Solutions is a 3PL company that began managing warehouses in Tennessee, Alabama, and Mississippi. With our multiple shifts and experienced management team, our goal is to give you as an employee a safe family work environment and competitive wages. We offer a wide variety of employment opportunities from forklift drivers to management level positions. We also strive to offer a competitive benefit package and PTO options. For more information or to apply, visit us at livingstonefs.com or give us a call at 931-2 what really matters during the ball game, we're at that point in the season where some are just beginning, some have already ended, and others are at that point where it's either win or go home. Depending on what your perspective is, it changes everything, doesn't it? In 2 Corinthians 4 and verse 18, we're reminded we don't look at the things that are seen, but at the things that are unseen. For the things that are seen are temporary, but the things that are unseen are eternal. Keep your focus, keep your perspective on the right things, the things of God, the eternal things. And that message brought to you by your friends at the Leoma Church of Christ. Hey everyone, this is Landon Saunders. And this is Nate Patterson with Cloud9 Fiber. We're excited to finally be able to offer Lawrenceburg our blazing fast, reliable, and affordable fiber internet services. If you're looking for a more reliable and more affordable provider, we at Cloud9 Fiber have you covered. Plans start at $50 a month and we can offer up to a gigabit to your home or business. We are excited to be able to offer your first month of service entirely free. We encourage you to sign up on Cloud9 Fiber com or by calling 931-201-9098 so we can help you make the switch today. This Saturday for nine hours only at Story Lee Furniture, it's the incredible nine-hour sale starting at 12 noon on Saturday, where for nine hours only, you can save up to 70% off bedrooms, dining rooms, outdoor living, and the largest selection of leather in the Tennessee Valley. And for nine hours only, a factory-authorized sales event. Save an additional 20% off on Flex Steel and Hooker Furniture. And all Kingsdown bedding has been reduced. It's the Story Lee's incredible nine-hour sale this Saturday only at 12 noon. Going the distance with local sports. This is the X Sports Network. And welcome everybody to Holland Wall, Tennessee, here on the campus of Lewis County High School. As is today's match between your Loretta Mustangs versus the Lewis County Panthers. My name's Hayden Burks on the car on the call, excuse me. And uh, it's a cold one here today. Obviously, this game was being played on Wednesday. This game was supposed to be played yesterday, but due to weather and thunderstorms, they had to postpone the game, and it was moved to today here at 6.30. As Loretta, they come into this game 9-2 overall, 1-0 within their district in Lewis County. Comes in this one 7-2 overall, 0-1 within their district. As both these teams, obviously, matching up once again. They met up on Monday at Loretta, where Loretta – Defeated the Panthers six to nothing, and starting things off on the mound for Lewis County will be number two Braden Whitlow, and then the lineup for your Mustangs will be number thirteen leading off number thirteen, excuse me, number thirteen Mason Tewell, 
number 16, Clint Seymour. Number 5, Carter Daniel. Number 3, Miles Moore. Number 11, Jackson Traglia. Number 22, Lucas Laxon. Number 7, Jaden Aaron. Number 1, Grant Fisher. Number 4, Cason Springer. And number 15, Hayden Buttram. As Loretta are in, they are in their away black uniforms with gold lining. And Lewis County is in their home white uniforms. As first pitch, he low for ball one. Very cold, windy day once again here in Hallwald. There's the 1 0 pitch to Tibble. I'll be in there for strike one, makes a 1 1 count now. Here's one one pitch. Swung on. He'll be grounded up back over to Whitlow. He's going to throw over to first underhand in time for the first out here in the top of the first. Now Seymour up to the plate. His first at bat for Loretta with Carter Daniel on deck. Miles Moore in the hole. Here's first pitch to Seymour. Still swing on that one. Nearly the same play. Back over to Whitlow. Another underhand for the second out here in the top of the set first. So quickly two outs for Loretta. And that will bring up Carter Daniel. Carter Daniel having a very good season so far for Loretta with his at-bats. Here's first pitch to Daniel. That'll be low for ball one. Makes the 1-0 count now to Daniel. Here's the 1-0 pitch. That one is high for ball two. Here's the 2-0 pitch. That one's in there for strike one. Makes a 2-1 count now. Here comes the 2-1. That's going to be swung on. That'll be sent into right center field, and that's going to be a ground ball. And that's going to get by the right fielder, and Daniel will have a base hit for a single. That will now bring up Miles Moore for his first at bat for Loretta, who is behind the plate for the Mustangs. And on deck will be the center fielder, number 11, Jackson Traglia. Runner on first, that's Daniel after the single on right field. First pitch to Miles is outside for ball one. And that one is swung on for strike one, makes a 1 1 count now for Miles. One to more. That's high and away for a ball two. Two one count now. Two 
one pitch. On his also high makes the three one count now. Runner still on first, two outs here in the top of the first. Here in this district matchup. Three one count. That's swung on. Tipped into the catcher's glove for strike two now, and it'll be a full count. Three balls, two strikes, two outs for Miles Moore at the plate. Three two pitch, and that'll be high for ball four, and Miles will make his way over to first with runners on first and second now for the Mustangs. Rogerson now, courtesy runner for Moore on first. It's now Traglia at the plate. Here's first pitch. It'll be low for ball one. Rogerson and Daniel both had big leads over at first and second for Loretta. 1-0 pitch. It's high for ball two. 2-0 two count now. Here's 2-0 pitch to Traglia. I'll be in there for strike one. Two one count now for Jackson. As Lucas Laxon on deck for Loretta. Here's two one pitch. That's swung on for strike two. Makes it two two count now. Two's across the board. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. Here in the top of the first. Here comes the 2-2 pitch. Swing and miss for strike three, and that will end the top of the first. So Loretta leaves two runners stranded on base. Score still 0-0. Zero zero. We'll be back for the bottom of the first here next on the Exports Network. Arctic Air keeps your home or business comfortable. For more than 20 years, we've provided outstanding residential and commercial services through southern middle Tennessee. Whether you need assistance with your heat, air conditioning, preventive maintenance, or anything in between, trust our reliable team to get the job done. We'll take the time to figure out your specific needs and recommend what we believe is right and best for your situation. We've been using Arctic Air for over 15 years now. Their service is great. They're here when we need them, and their prices are competitive. They take the worry out of the heat and the air so I don't have to. Arctic Air. When you need us, we'll be there. is the X Sports Network. And back here at Lewis County for your Loretta Mustangs versus the Lewis County Panthers. As Loretta unable to score any runs in the top of the first. Now it's the bottom of the first. Leading things off for Lewis County, that will be number seven, Fletch Kelsey, the shortstop. With Steely Mosley, the second baseman on deck. 
As Lewis County, they're first at bat here in this ball game, the bottom of the first. Start things off on the mound for Loretta. That will be number 13, Mason Tibble. So that first pitch will be low for ball one. Here's the 1-0 pitch by Tibble. That swung on fouled. Count will be 1-1 one -one now. Tibble will usually play short for the Mustangs, but on the mound. Here's 1-1 one -one pitch. That's swung on, four strike two. One two, one two count now as Fisher at short today for the Mustangs. Here's the one-two pitch by Tibble. That's low for ball two, two-two two, two count now. Here's two-two pitch. And caught him looking for Tibble's first strikeout. Here in the bottom of the first, one out. I'll now bring up number 14. Mosley up to the plate for his first at bat. As Till will already start the game off here for Loretta with one strike out already, first batter. That was a backwards K as well. Now Mosley will step into the batter's box for the Panthers. Here's first pitch. That swung on, and that will be fouled. Looks like over to the football field, and the count will now be 0-1. That one is sent over to second base, and that gets away from Lucas Laxon, and that will be a base hit. That will be an E4 now for Loretta. Now Lewis County with one out has a runner, or excuse me, yes, with one out they have a runner at first. And that will now bring up the opposing pitcher, number two, Braden Whitlow, to the plate for the Panthers. First pitch by Till. That's low in the dirt for ball one. 1-0 no count now. As Miles thought about picking over to first, but decided not to make the throw. Tibble checks over first. Here's the 1-0 pitch. Swung on for strike one. 1-1 one, one count now. Here's one one pitch by Mason. That will be sent in the left field. And that will be caught by Jay and Aaron. And that will be the second out here in the bottom of the first. That'll be number 21 McDonald up to the plate for the Panthers with two outs here in the bottom of the first. This runner still on first. Here's Taylor with the pitch. And that was a check swing, but they got him for strike one. 0 oh, 1 count now. So one pitch. Just a little outside for ball one. 1 1 count now, two outs in the bottom of the first. Next pitch was outside once again. Makes it 2-1 count now. 
as Till was just flirting with the strike zone. There's two one pitch. That's swung on. Mosley, he'll take off for second. He'll be there in time. Runner at second now. That last pitch was a ball. Excuse me, was a strike as McDonald swung on that one. Home plate umpire going to clean up the home plate. McDonald step back into the batter's box with a 2-2 count now. Still no run scored here in this ball, this ball game, bottom first. As Tibble will signal for Miles Moore, a little mound talk. Looks like quick little talk between the two of them. Here's 2-2 pitch now by Tibble. And that one's going to get away by Miles Moore. And Mosley now 90 feet from the plate. So Mosley now at third. Still two outs. Here's the full count pitch. As McDonald will try his way over to first. Runners on the corners now. And that's the second walk issued. Excuse me, the first walk issued by Tidwell. That will now bring up number 13, the third baseman, Braylon Bean. His first at bat. With Mosley at third and McDonald on first for the Panthers. Here's first pitch to Bean. Outside for ball one. There's a 1 0 pitch. In there for strike one, makes the 1 1 count now. Here's one one pitch by Tiwell. Swung on fouled. One two count now. Tiwell checks over at first. Here's the one two pitch. And caught him looking for his second strikeout here in this ball game. As Lewis County, they also strand two runners on the plate, and that will end the first inning. And we'll be back for the top of the second inning here next on the Exports Network. This is Jason at Volco Auto Supply in Lawrenceburg. For over 90 years, Volco has been a family-owned company. We're proud of our past and excited about our future. We're open to the public for wholesale and retail trade. We carry product lines such as Milwaukee Tools, Lucas Oil, and Malco Product. We carry all major brands of lubricants like Shell Rotella, Avalon, Castrol GTX, Mystic, Motorcraft, Valvoline, Kindle, and Mobile. We here at Volco offer a complete line of car detailing supplies, shop supplies, tire repair products, and lawnmower supplies. Check us out online at volcoautosupply.com or at 416 Buffalo Road here in Lawrenceburg. Distance with local sports. This is the X Sports Network. 
And back here at Lewis County as still no run scored here in this ball game at the top of the second. Leading things off for Loretta will be number 22, Lucas Laxon. Lucas for his first hit bat for the Mustangs here in this ball game is Jay Naren on deck. Here's first pitch by Whitlow. That one's in there for strike one. Whitlow so far in this ball game has one strike out for the Panthers. Here's the 0-1 to Lucas. That one is swung on for strike two, makes it 0-2 count now. Here's the 0-2 pitch now. That's going to hit Lucas in the head, and he will make his way over to first. Just nicked him on the helmet. Looks like he's all right. That will now bring up number seven, Jaden Aaron, for his first at bat with Grant Fisher on deck. No outs here in the top of the first. Laxon. On first, has a big lead off. Here's Aaron. How about the bun tip? Lucas, he will take off and he will be in there safe at second. Has he successful stolen base? So that first pitch was a ball, 1 0. As Lewis County's coach will. Come out to have a discussion with the infield umpire. Let's make an argument. Maybe tagged him on the foot before he touched second. Anyways, coach will make his back over to his way back over to the dugout. So Lucas once again has a big lead at second now. Here's the 1-0 pitch. It's a bunt tip laid down by Aaron. Lucas will take off for third. Underhand. And the sacrifice bunt by Aaron for the first out. But now runner at third here for Loretta. That will now bring up. Grant Fisher, his first at bat, the shortstop here today for the Mustangs. As Loretta has a runner on third, 90 feet from the plate. His first pitch. Now swung on foul, makes the 0 1 count now. There's only one out here in the top of the second. Loretta has a chance to take a 1 0 lead. Here's 0-1 pitch. It'll be low for ball one. Makes the 1-1 count now. That's Casey Springer on deck for Loretta. Here's 1-1 pitch. His bun tip laid down. That will be fouled. Makes it a 1-2 count now for Fisher. Here's the 1-2 pitch now. That'll be swung on fouled. And the count will stay the same at 1-2. Last pitch was fouled near the low red dugout. Here's the 1-2 pitch once again. Grant's going to send that one in the left field. That has a chance. And they will get underneath that one. Lucas will take off for home, and he will be in for the first run here in this ball game. Low Loretta leads one to nothing here in the top of the second. After the fly out by Fisher, 
Lucas was able to tag up at third and get home in time. They now lead one to nothing. And we'll now bring up the right fielder, number four, Cason Springer. His first at bat for Loretta. Had a good season so far for the Mustangs. Two outs here in the top of the second. Here's the first pitch to Springer. That's low for ball one. Makes the 1-0 count. Yes. On deck for the Mustangs. Top of the order will be number 13, Mason Tibble. Here's the 1-0 pitch to Springer. That will be swung on over to second. And that will be in time for the third out of the inning. As after the fly out by Grant Fisher, Lucas Slackson was able to tag up at third, get the first run. They now lead one to nothing. We'll be back for the bottom of the second here next on the Exports Network. LUS is committed to our customers from providing and maintaining energy efficient utility services to friendly, helpful customer service. LUS is there. At LUS, we're always challenging everything we know, every day. We strive to improve efficiency and reliability while focusing on our responsibility to our customers and the community. It's our promise to provide dependable service to our customers every time. Because we don't just work in Lawrence County, we live here too. Swap and Shop Center in Lawrenceburg is your go-to stop to complete your home, business, a combination of both, or really anything you can think of. With one of the region's biggest selection of bedroom furniture, name brand mattresses, recliners, living room and dining room suits, accents for the home or office, quality name brand appliances, and did I mention Swap and Shop services what they sell? This is family owned and operated business at its best. And the best part is, they'll treat you like family too. We got bedroom suits, mattresses, dining room suits, appliances, outdoor equipment, mowers, and more. See us at the Swap and Shop Center in Lawrenceburg, Tennessee. This is the X Sports Network. And back here in Hull Wall, Tennessee, here on the X Sports Network, as after the fly out by Grant Fisher, Lucas Lackson was able to tag up over at third to get the first run here in this ball game as Loretta leads one to nothing. Here in the bottom of the second inning. As Tibble once again on the mound for Loretta. Two strikeouts so far in this ballgame. That will now bring up number 17, Dakota Hall. For his first at bat for the Panthers. With Ray on deck. Here's the first pitch to hole. In there for strike one. Tibble on a hot streak now for Loretta. Here's that one pitch. Swung on for strike two. 0 2 count now for Tibble. Here's 0 2 pitch. Swing and a miss for strike three. Third strikeout here for Tidwell in this ball game. And we'll now bring up Ethan Ray, the center fielder for the Panthers with Hayden Jackson on deck. Right his first at bat as well. First pitch in there for strike one. This table's on a heater now for Loretta. Got one pitch. In there for strike two. 0 2 count now. O2 pitch. Is that one is fouled? And the count will stay the same, 0-2. Oh, 0-2 pitch once again. High for ball one. 1-2 one, count now. Got away from Miles Moore. Yeah, 
Here's the one-two pitch. Swing and a miss. Gets away from Moore. He'll throw the first. Not in time, and he will be safe. I'll now bring up number 12, Hayden Jackson, the catcher for Loretta. Or excuse me, for the Panthers. With one out here in the bottom of the second, Loretta leads one to nothing. Here's first pitch to Jackson. As that will be hit into right field. Springer gets underneath that one for the second out here in the inning. Now number one, Maddox Tanner, the designated hitter for the Panthers. Two outs here in the bottom of the second now. Here's first pitch to Tanner. Swung on fouled. Count be 0-1. Runner still on first here for Lewis County. Here's 0-1 pitch. In there for strike two for Tidwell. Here's 0-2 pitch by Tidwell. Inside, four ball, one, one, two count now. Here's a one-two pitch to Tanner. That won't get away. And Ray will make his way over to second. That one got away from Moore. Bounced into the face mask. Everybody's all right, it looks like. That last pitch was a ball. Two-two count. High for ball three, full count. Here's full count pitch. Low for ball four, and Tanner will make his way over at first. Top of the lineup for the Panthers, number seven, Fletch Kelsey. Once again, his first at bat was a strikeout. As Tidwell caught him looking for the backwards K. Here's first pitch. In there for strike one. Tim will find in every part of the strike zone so far in this ball game. Now one pitch. High and inside for ball one. One one count now. One one pitch. In there for strike two. Makes the one two count with two outs now. Here in the bottom of second. Here's the one two pitch by Tidwell. That one swung on fouled. So that one be fouled. Count will stay the same. One two. Looks like it's in the football field behind us. It's actually, Kevin was shaking his head. It was right beside us. I wasn't paying attention. I had this tree on top of me. Runners on first and second. Here's the one-two count once again. That one was low for ball two. 
Evens the count up, two balls, two strikes, with two outs here in the bottom of the second inning. Two-two pitch by Tibble. That's yeah, a good job by Miles Moore, able to keep that one from and no runners advancing. Full count. Table looking to pick over at second. Nobody was there to defend it. He will reset on the mound. It's full count pitch. Caught him looking. And that's the fifth strikeout now by Tidwell. Third backwards K, and that will end the bottom of the second inning. As Loretta still leads one to nothing, we'll be back for the top of the third here next on the Exports Network. Head on over to Shaw Southeast Distributing in Lawrenceburg to find everything you need for your home, business, or fundraiser. To make life easier, Shaw Southeast Distributing now accepts EBT cards. Have a concession stand, food truck, or just your kitchen at home? Leave it to Shaw to fill your shelves with ease. Shaw Southeast Distributing delivers. Family owned and operated. Phone 931-762-7760. Follow us on Facebook or visit us at 1603 Ripke Avenue in Lawrenceburg. This is the X Sports Network. And back here at Lewis County, as it's still cold, as here in the top of the third inning, Loretta leads one to nothing still. As leading things off for Loretta will be the opposing pitcher, number 13, Mason Tewell, who's been on a heater so far in this ball game, with five strikeouts through two innings. With Clint Seymour on deck. Till his last at bat had a ground out. Bounce back over to the pitcher. Whitlow. Here's first pitch to Till. That one is. Right down the middle, four strike one. 0 1 count now to Tibble. Here's 0 1 pitch. That was swung on over to short. And that will be in time for the 6 3 out. First out here in the top of the third. That will now bring up Clint Seymour with the designated hitter Carter Daniel on deck. Seymour also had a ground out back up to the pitcher. Seymour will step into the batter's box. Here's the first pitch to Seymour. Inside for ball one, 1-0 one -oh count now. Here's the 1-0 pitch. That one is outside for ball two, 2-0 two -oh count now. Here's 2-0 -oh pitch, Clint. I'll be in there for strike one, makes it 2-1 count now. As for the Panthers, Whitlow so far through two innings has only one strikeout. 
after the strikeout by Jackson Traglia. Here's a 2-1 pitch. That one's low for ball three, 3-1 three, count now on hitter's count for Seymour. Three one pitch. Swung on sent in the center field. That will get down for a base hit. And Seymour will stay at first. Now with one out here in the top of the third. Loretta has a runner on first. That will now bring up Carter Daniel to the plate. It's Carter Daniel, his first at bat had a single for the Mustangs. That was sent into right field earlier. First pitch to Daniel. Swung on, sent almost in the same exact spot. That will get down. Seymour will make his way over to third, and that will be in time. Runners on the quarters for Loretta. And now that will bring up Miles Moore. As Miles, his last bat was walked. And Moore, with only one out here in the top of the third, is in prime position to get more runs on the board for Loretta. And Seymour on third, Daniel on first. Here's first pitch to Miles. Be outside for ball one, 1 0 count. Here's a 1 0 pitch. Swung on a four strike one. He was counted one ball, one strike. Here's a 1-1 pitch. Swung on fouled. Count now be 1-2. Here's a 1-2 pitch. The outside evens count up. Two balls, two strikes. Here's 2-2 pitch to Miles. Inside for ball three makes the full count now for Moore. As Loretta leads one to nothing, courtesy runner will come in for Daniel. This runner still on first and second for Loretta. They lead one to nothing here in the top of third. Pick over to first. Not in time. Here's the full count pitch. Swung on, fouled. Count will stay the same full. So here's the full count pitch once again to Miles. Swung on fouled once again. And we got a good battle between Moore and Whitlow. Here's 
Here's full count pitch once again. That will be high, and now the bases are loaded for Loretta, and that will now bring up number 11, Jackson Traglia. So Miles both times at bat has been walked. Now Jackson Traglia back up to the plate. His first at bat was struck out. Now with one out here in the top of third, bases are loaded. Here's first pitch to Traglia. I'll be high for ball one, 1-0 -oh count now. Here's 1-0 -oh pitch in there for strike one, 1-1 one, one count now. Here's 1-1 one, one pitch to Traglia. Swung on four strike two, makes the 1-2 count now. Here's 1-0 pitch to Traglia. Be a high and outside for ball two. 2-2 two, two count now. Two balls, two strikes, one out here in the top of the third. Here's a 2-2 pitch. It'll be just high and outside for ball three. Full count once again. Here's full count pitch. Swung on by Traglia, and that will be sent into right field. As that one is all the way to the wall, that will be two runs scored. Traglia will hold up at second. And that will be a two RBI double by Jackson Traglia, and Loretta now leads three to nothing here in the top of the third. As that one rolled all the way to the wall, Now that will now bring up Lucas Laxton back up to the plate. His last bat was hit by the pitch. He took one to the helmet. That's high for ball one. And has Rogerson on third. Tragley on second. Still one out here in the top of third. Counts 1-0. After the two RBI double by Jackson Traglia, Loretta leads Lewis County 3 to nothing. Here's a 1-0 pitch. Low for ball two, 2-0 two count now for Lucas Laxon. And Jaden Aaron on deck for Loretta. Here's 2-0 -oh count. Swung on four, strike one. As Traglia has a almost halfway to third leadoff on second. It's bunt laid down by Laxon. And they're going to tag Rogerson at home for the second out. And good awareness by Lewis County. Still no run scored for Loretta. Now, Jared, Jaden Aaron back up to the plate. 
Two outs now here in the top of third. His runners on first and second for Loretta. First pitch to Aaron. That will be in there for strike one. Oh, one count now. There's a one count as Laxon will make his way over to second. Runners on second and third now for Loretta. There's that one one count now. There's a one one pitch swung on as that is a fly ball over to short. And that will be the third out of the inning. As after the two RBI double by Jackson Traglia, Loretta leads Lewis County 3 to nothing. We'll be back on the Exports Network for the bottom of the third. If you want the best clean and wash experience, you need to catch the happy wave at Tidal Wave Auto Spa. Don't settle for streaks, dirt residue, water spots, and weak vacuums that you can get at just any car wash. At all our locations, you will be greeted by a smiling attendant who will pre-wash your car front and back to remove any stubborn bugs and dirt before guiding you through the tunnel, where your car will be treated to the ultimate spa treatment with state-of-the-art equipment and one-of-a-kind wash experience that will give your car a showroom shine. Afterwards, you can help yourself to our free powerful vacuums, cleaning cloths, and glass and surface cleaner for the perfect finishing touch. When it comes to caring for your car, don't settle for any wash and pay for all the extras. Get the best when you catch the happy wave at your local Tidal Wave Auto Spa. Old School Rentals in Loretto, Tennessee is headquarters for all your rental equipment needs. Need a trailer? How about saws, tools, loaders, or generators? You can find all of that and much, much more at Old School Rentals. Owner Ryan Smith, located on North Main Street in Loretto, Tennessee. Going the distance with local sports. This is the X Sports Network. And back here in Holdenwall, Tennessee. As after a two RBI double by Jackson Tragley in the top of third, Loretta leads Lewis County three to nothing. As leading things off will be number 14, Mosley. As that one is fouled. Counts out one. Here's out one. I'll be low for ball one. Makes a one one count. As Mosley was able to reach base his first at bat after the error by Lucas Laxon at second. Here's one one pitch. Swung on foul once again. That will be out. That will be once again bounce onto the football field. Makes the one-two count now. Here's a one-two pitch. That one is fouled once again. Looks like in the exact same spot. Count will stay the same. One-two pitch. That'll be grounded over to Laxon. He's able to scoop that one up and in time for the first out here in the bottom of the third. That will now bring up the opposing pitcher, Braden Whitlow, back up to the plate for his second at bat. His first at bat had a fly out, and he's 0 for 1 on the day. Here's first pitch. Swung on for strike one. Here's that one pitch. Low and inside for ball one. Here's a one 
one pitch. Swung on, that'll be flied into left field. And they couldn't find it and get underneath that one. That'll be a double by Whitlow. As there were three Mustangs in the outfield, no one was able to track it down in the sky. That last one was struck, shot straight up into the air, and nobody was able to track that one. That will now bring up McDonald. Back up to the plate for the Panthers. His last at bat was walked. And with one out here in the bottom of the third, the Panthers have a runner on second. His first pitch, McDonald. That one's outside for ball one. There's 1 0 pitch. So that one's low for ball two, 2 0 count now. Here's 2 0 pitch by two. Well, that one swung on. Seymour able to get underneath that one. He'll throw over to first in time for the second out. As Butram thought about throwing over to third, instead, we'll hold up. That will now bring Braylon Bean back up to the plate as he was struck out his last at bat with two outs here in the bottom of the third. Lewis County has a runner at third, 90 feet from home plate. Here's first pitch to Bean. That one swung on, fouled. Count be a one. Here's a one pitch. That one is low for ball one. One one count now. It's a good job once again by Miles Moore. Able to keep that one in front of him. Done a good job so far behind the plate today for Loretta. There's 1-1 one, one pitch. In there for strike two. Makes the 1-2 count now with two outs. Here's the 1-2 pitch to Bean. That one gets away. And that will be a run scored. As Whitlow able to steal home. And the lead is now 3-1 to one Mustangs. Last pitch was a ball, 2-2 two -two count now for Tibble. Swung on four strike three, and that will end the bottom of the third after the stolen base by Whitlow. Lewis County able to tag on a run. They now lead or they now trail three to one. We'll be back for the top of the fourth here next on the Exports Network. Patient care at its finest is found at Tennessee Valley Family Care. From primary to infant care, physicals, women's health, allergies, 
diabetes management, plus on-site labs and ultrasounds. Let practitioners Liz Phillips, Kathy Cohen, and Stephanie Tucker care for your health and your entire family's health. Let Tennessee Valley Family Care help you reach your health care goals. This is the X Sports Network. And back here at Lewis County, as we're here for the top of the fourth inning between your Loretta Mustangs and the Lewis County Panthers. As the Panthers in the bottom of the third were able to tag on a run after the stolen base by Whitlow. They now trail Loretta 3-1. to one. As leading things off will be number one, Grant Fisher. As Fisher, his last hit back had a fly out. But with that fly out, there was a run batted in. Here's first pitch to Fisher. Be low for ball one. As Case and Springer on deck for Loretta. There's a 1 0 pitch. It's high for ball two. Here's the 2-0 pitch to Fisher. Low for ball three, 3-0 count now. Here's 3-0 fit. I'll be in there for strike one. Makes the 3-1 count now for Fisher. Here comes the hitter's count. That will be high for ball four, and Fisher will make his way over to first. That will now bring up number four, Cason Springer, at the plate with Mason Tillwell, top of the lineup on deck for Loretta. Cason, his last, bat, his last at bat had a ground out. So still no outs here in the top of the fourth. Fisher on first. First pitch to Springer. I'll be swung on. That'll be fouled. Out of play down the left field line. Count now be 0 1. Here's 0 1 count. It's low for ball one. Job there by Jackson, not to let the let that one get by him. With Fisher advancing over to second. Here's one one pitch. I'll be swung on, and that's going to get by the first baseman. As a single now for Springer. Still no outs. Runners on first and second now with Loretta. As that one got away from McDonald. As he was unable to keep that one in front of him. Runners now at first and second with Loretta. And that will now bring up Mason Tibble for the top of the lineup for Loretta. Tibble 0 for 2 on the day. First pitch. So that will be a bun tip. That will be fouled back for 0-1 count now. Here's that one pitch to the table. That's going to be swung on. That will get by short, and that will be a base hit. 
as Fisher, he will make his way home. And that will be a RBI double by Mason Tidwell. Still no outs here. Loretta leads 4-1 to one now. I'll now bring up number 16, Clint Seymour. Back up to the plate. Last bat had a single for the Mustangs. Looks like we might have a possible pitch change for Lewis County. Cursey runner comes in from Mason Tidwell on second. That is number 23, it looks like, Delton Thompson. As Lewis County's head coach will make his way back out to the dugout. Had a little conversation with Whitlow. So we're still with no outs here in the top of the fourth after the RBI double by Mason Tidwell. Loretta leads 4-1 to one now. And Springer over at third, 90 feet from the plate. Thompson at second. You have to think maybe a possible bunt attempt by Seymour. Just uh, infield. Scooching in a little bit for Lewis County. Here's first pitch to Seymour. I'll be outside for ball one, one no count now. Here's a 1-0 count. I'll be low for ball two, makes a 2-0 count. Good job once again by Jackson, able to keep that one from and not letting another run score. Here's 2-0 pitch, that'll be fouled. Makes a 2-1 count now. Thompson with a big lead over to second for Loretta. Lewis County not even worried about him. Here's 2-1 pitch. Outside for ball three, 3-1 count now. Hitters count now for Clint Seymour. Here's 3-1 pitch to Seymour. Outside, four, ball four. Seymour will make his way over to first, and the base is loaded once again for Loretta with no outs. Now bring up the designated hitter, Carter Daniel, once again. So he's two for two on the day. Lewis Kane's head coach will make his way back to the mound, and more than likely it will be a pitching change for the Panthers. And that will do it for Whitlow. So we'll now bring up Steely Mosley up to the mound, and while he's warming up, we'll take a commercial break here on the Exports Network. For the best meal from south of the border, head to Cocina Real in Puente Grande for lunch and dinner. With a wide array of mouth-watering entrees, there's something for everyone on the menu. And you can't forget the cheese dip. They'll treat you like family, and you'll never leave hungry. Make Cocina Real Mexican Restaurant and Puente Grande Mexican Restaurant your choice for authentic cuisine. Located in Lawrenceburg, Tennessee. At CMB Linen, fast, friendly, and reliable service is our promise to you. Because you're not just a customer, you're family. From multi-use linen to branded floor coverings and a complete range of cleaning supplies, CMB Linen is here to make sure you have everything you need. From our high-quality products to our fast, friendly, and reliable service, you'll experience the difference with CMB Linen. Because you're not just a client, you're part of our family. 
You'll be winning with CNV Linen. Going the distance with local sports. This is the X Sports Network. And back here at Lewis County after a pitching change by Lewis County. Now bring Steely Mosley to the mound for Lewis County. Still haven't got any warmer here. Here's first pitch. So that one was... Low for ball one, 1-0 -oh count now. His base is loaded once again. Lurie leads 4-1 to one here in the top of the fourth. Here's a 1-0 -oh pitch. When it's in there for strike one, 1-1 one, one count. There's one one pitch. Swung on four strike two. Let's go here five. Here you go. Daddy trying to stop the bleeding here. Looking for their first out here in the top of the fourth. Here's the one two pitch to Carter Daniels. That one hit into right field. And they'll get underneath that one. That will be in there for a run. Runners on the corners now. There's a fly out by Carter Daniel. Ends up with an RBI with that. And Loretta now leads 5-1. to one. They'll now bring up Miles Moore. It's both times at bat. He's been walked for the Mustangs. With number 11, Jackson Traglia on deck. Runners on, runners on first and second for Loretta. Here's the pitch. Low in the dirt. Seymour will make his way over to second with no throw. That first pitch was a ball. Here's a 1-0 count. And will also be low for ball two. Makes it 2-0. Here's 2 0 -oh pitch. That one will be down the middle for strike one. Here's a 2 1 pitch now. That will be inside for ball three. Makes a hitter's count for more. Miles Moore won the. Discipline, discipline players at the plate for Loretta. Most of the Mustangs are very disciplined when they're at the plate. Here's 3-1 pitch. That will be high for a ball four. And once again, bases loaded for the Mustangs. So with one out here, Curse Runner comes in. It will be Rogerson once again coming in for more at first. That will now bring up Jackson Traglia. Tragley, his last at bat, had two RBI double. First pitch, Tragley swung on four, strike one. Here's 
Here's that one pitch. That one swung on. That'll be a foul ball, looks like. As they're actually able to get it underneath that one in left field, and that will be out number two here in the top of the fourth. That was Kelsey able to get underneath that one, able to track it down in foul territory. Now bring up Lucas Laxon once again. First pitch. That one is low for ball one. There's a 1-0 pitch. That one swung on fouled. Count now be 1-1. One, one. Here's 1-1 one, one pitch to Lucas Laxon. Outside for ball two makes a 2-1 count now. Here's 2-1 pitch. Outside for ball three makes the hitters count now for Laxon. Here's the here's count. And therefore, strike two makes the full count now for Lucas Laxon. With three balls, two strikes, two, two outs. Loretta leads Lewis County here in the top of the fourth, five to one. Here's the pitch, swung on, four strike three, and that will end the top of the fourth. As Loretta able to extend their lead, five to one. Here in the top of the fourth, we'll be back for the bottom of the fourth. Here next on the Exports Network. If there ever was such a thing as a company that could do almost anything, well, Tenneke Properties is it. These guys know how to completely transform your existing home into something new or just do it room by room. Need a new bathroom or kitchen? What about a fresh coat of paint? Even a new floor? Looking for dirt work? Tenneke has you covered. Oh, and you can even rent a dumpster from them too. That's Tenneke Properties. Visit Tenneke.com or phone 931-244-4602. Why should you bank with Employee Resources Credit Union? We offer a wealth of services, including mobile banking, video banking, bill pay, and more. We also offer loan rates that are lower than those of our competitors. Employee Resources Credit Union has been a financial pillar since 1964, providing long-time support to members of the community. Join us and become part of the ERCU commitment. Not for profit, for service. Going the distance with local sports. This is the X Sports Network. Back here at Lewis County, as Loretta in the top of the fourth was able to put two more runs on the board, they now lead 5-1 to one here in the bottom of the fourth. As leading things off will be number 17, Dakota Hall. The right fielder for the Panthers, his last at bat, had a strikeout. There is now a line out of the concession stand as they now got hot chocolate here in Hall Wall. As two will so far on the heater, and even though it's a cold afternoon here at Hall Wall. It doesn't seem to affect Mason Tibble. Here's the first pitch. Swung on. Over to Fisher at short. He's able to throw first in time for the first out here in the bottom of the fourth. That's a 6-3 out for Loretta. Now brings up number 20, Ethan Ray. Last bat was a drop strike three. And he was safe at first in the process. 
First pitch by Tewell. That swung on into center field. Traglia not able to get underneath that one. That's going to go all the way to the wall. Ray will make his way to second. He will hold up, and that will be a double. As that's going to get away, he's actually going to make his way over to third now. Seymour scoops that one up, and that will be a triple by Ethan Ray. After that, that will now bring up the catcher, Hayden Jackson, number 12. That's miscommunication by the Mustangs. Looks like it was going to be a double by Ray, but instead with the miscommunication, was able to make his way over to third for the triple. First pitch, swung on for strike one. Makes that one count now. Here's our one pitch. Once again, good job by Miles Moore. Kept everything mostly in front of him tonight. That last pitch was a ball, makes a 1-1 count now. 1-1 pitch. Just outside for ball two. Two one pitches that will be sent into right field, and that will get down. That will be a base hit by Jackson, an RBI single in the process. Courtesy runner coming in for the Panthers as they now trail Loretta five to two here in the bottom of the fourth. Now the designated hitter. Up to the plate, there's number one, Maddox Tanner, who is one for one on the day. Reached the plate with the walk, his last at bat. First pitch, high for ball one. Here's one of those. That will be sent right over line drive, and that will be a double play. A line drive over to Grant Fisher. He throws in time to first, and that will be a double play, and that will end the bottom of the fourth. As after a RBI single by Hayden Jackson, Lewis, Lewis County able to cut the Loretta lead down 5-2. to two. We'll be back for the top of the fifth here next on the Exports Network. Financial advisor Scott Beasley knows time spent with family is everything. As a founder of Beasley Wealth Management, his mission is to give clients the freedom to enjoy time with family without the burden of financial concerns. A local of Lawrenceburg, Scott deeply values building relationships with clients, ensuring they make informed decisions concerning asset management, tax planning, and retirement planning. Offering a free initial consultation, Beasley Wealth Management helps clients pursue their aspirations with confidence. I'm Mike Keith, and my friends at Elliott Johnson Insurance have a great partner in Auto Owners Insurance. Auto Owners makes it easy to get life, home, car, or business insurance. Let Elliott Johnson Insurance find the auto owner's policy that makes a difference in your life. Call Elliott Johnson Insurance at one of their three locations, Florence, Loretta, and Lawrenceburg. Elliott Johnson Insurance, moving forward for our clients every day. Lawrenceburg Flooring and More is your premier source for hardwood, laminate, luxury vinyl tile, sheet vinyl, residential and commercial carpet, carpet tiles, ceramic and porcelain tile, waterproof floating floor, plus blinds and shutters. Lawrenceburg Flooring and More is also home to all name brands and can tackle projects big and small. Installation? You're covered with installers who've got years of experience and stand behind their work. Let Lawrenceburg Flooring and More make your design dreams a reality. 2760 Highway 43 North or visit lawrenceburgflooringandmore.com This is the X Sports Network And back here on the X Sports Network as Loretta leads Lewis County 5-2 to two here in the top of the 5th and as leading things off for Loretta will be number 7 Jaden Aaron who's 0-2 on the day so far looking to change that with Aaron at the plate, Fisher on deck after that. Unbelievable line drive to Fisher and was able to throw to first to get the double play in the bottom of the fourth. Here's 
Mosley back up to the mound once again for Lewis County. So that one will be tipped into the glove of the catcher. Makes the 0-1 count now for Aaron. Here's the 0-1 pitch. That one swung on. That will be sent into the left field. That one has a chance. And that will be a home run by Jaden Aaron. As it had a chance, it had the air, and that one is gone. Loretta now leads 6-2. to two. And Aaron had enough under that one. It looked good coming off, and it sure did. They now lead 6-2 to two over the Panthers. That will now bring up Grant Fisher to the plate. Once again, his last bat was walked. Still no outs here in the top of the fifth. Fisher will call time. First pitch to Fisher. Will be in there for strike one, makes it all one count. There's that one pitch. That one swung on. That will be sent into center field. And that will get down for the first out here in the top of the fifth. That was Ray able to get underneath that one. Ethan Ray. Now brings up number four, Casey Springer. His last bat had a single for the Mustangs. First pitch in there for strike one. And on deck for the Mustangs will be number 13, top of the lineup, Mason Tidwell. Oh, one pitch swung on. Makes the 0-2 count now for Springer. Here's the pitch. That will be swung on. Grounded over to first, over to Whitlow. Or, excuse me, McDonald. That will be the second out of the inning. So now Mason Till will make his way up to the plate. Clint Seymour on deck before the Mustangs. Till, his last at bat, had a RBI double for the Mustangs. Here's the first pitch. Inside for ball one. Here's a 1 0 pitch to table. That one is also inside, makes a 2 0 count now. Here's 2 0 pitch. Also away for ball three. 3-0 three -oh count now for Tidwell. Here's a 3-0 -oh pitch. That will be in there for strike one. Make it a here's count now for Tidwell. As Tidwell was making his way over to first after he thought it was going to be a four-pitch walk. Here's a 3-1 count. That will be outside for ball four, and that he will now make his way over to first. As Thompson will be the cursey runner for Tewell at first now. Seymour will make his way up to home plate now with Carter Daniel, designated hitter, on deck. First pitch to Seymour. Was high for ball one. There's a 1 0 -oh pitch. Swung on. Over to short. And that will be in time for the third out of the inning. As after the home run by Jaden Aaron, 
Loretta extends our lead 6-2 to two here in the top of the fifth. We will be back for the bottom of the fifth here next on the Exports Network. Do you ever worry about having too much in the garage? What about where you're going to put the mower or your ATV or better yet, your mother-in-law? Look no further than Quality Storage Buildings located right next door to Flat Rock Cheese and More on the Minor Hill Highway in Pulaski, Tennessee. There you'll find the answer to your need in a compact or spacious metal building. Built by hand right at Flat Rock by some of the finest craftsmen around, there's a perfect building for everyone, including economy, utility, cabin, lofted or garage models, and even an animal shelter line. Buy or rent to own, see the different models at Flat Rock or on North Main Street in Ardmore and on Highway 43 South in Dunn. Call today, 931-363-3603 or 931-201-2205. is the X Sports Network. And back here at Lewis County, here for the bottom of the fifth. As Loretta leads Lewis County 6-2 here in the bottom of the fifth inning. As in the top of the fifth inning, it was a home run issued by Jay Naren to extend their lead out 6-2. Here's the first pitch, swung on for strike one, as that will be the top of the lineup. Number seven, Fletch Kelsey, that shortstop, who is 0 for 2 on the day for the Panthers. Here's that one count. I'll be low for ball one. Here's a one-one pitch. Swung on, sent into left field. As Aaron able to track that one down, and that will be the first out here in the bottom of the fifth. Now brings up the opposing pitcher for Lewis County, Steely Mosley, who started at second now on the mound for the Panthers, who is also last at bat was grounded out. Here's first pitch. That one swung on sent into right field this time. Springer, he's able to get underneath that one. That will be the second out. Here are the inning. So two quick outs here in the bottom of the fifth. As Keeley sent first out into left field. And Mosley will send the second out into right field. Springer able to get underneath that one. Now brings up Withlow. Got a double his last at bat for the Panthers with two outs here in the bottom of the fifth. Here's first pitch. In there for strike one. And Tibble, so far through the day, has had six strikeouts as he's been on a heater for the Mustangs. Here's that one pitch. That one is also in there for strike two. Here's that two pitch. I'll be swung on fly ball. As... Laxon will call everybody off, and that will be the third out here in the bottom of the fifth. And it's three up, three down for Lewis County as Loretta still leads six to two. We will be back for the top of the sixth here next on the Exports Network. Are you looking for a job where you can easily balance work and home life? By becoming a local driver with Southeast Carriers, we can guarantee multiple benefits and a base pay starting at $17 per hour, along with a work-life balance so you can spend equal time on the road as with family. We also provide the latest updated equipment and technology to make your job as easy as possible. Southeast Cares isn't just a company, it's a family, and we would love for you to be a part of it. For more information, visit our website at southeastcares.com or check us out on Instagram and Facebook.
And back here on the Exports Network after in the bottom of the fifth, three up, three down by Loretta. Here in the top six now, they lead 6-2 over Lewis County. Now brings up the designated hitter, Carter Daniel, leading things off for the Mustangs. Daniel, his last at bat, had an RBI, or excuse me, a fly out, but in the process had an RBI throughout this game. First pitch will be inside for ball one. As Miles Moore on deck. Here's the 1-0 pitch. So that'll be swung on fouled down the left field line. Makes the 1-1 count now. Here's 1-1 pitch. That'll be swung on. Sent into the 5-6 gap and into left field, and that will be a base hit by Carter Daniel. That will now bring up Miles Moore. Back up to plate for Loretta as he's been walked every at bat so far here in this ball game. No outs here in the top of the six. Daniel over at first. First pitch to Moore. In there for strike one. Here's one pitch to Moore. That'll be tip fouled in the glove of the catcher, Jackson. That'll make it an 0-2 count now. Here's 0-2 pitch. Swung on sent into left field. And they will be able to get underneath that one. That will be the first out here in the top of the sixth. That was number six, Colt Skelton, the left fielder. Able to make the play. Now Jackson Traglia up to the plate. Here for Loretta earlier in this game, Jackson had a two RBI double. That pitch will be in there for strike one. There's that one pitch low for ball one. <laughs> Here's one one pitch. I'll be swung on for strike two. Makes the one two count now. Here's one two pitch. Swung on sent into right field. That'll be a base hit for Jackson Traglia. It's been all Loretta for the bats. So we're gonna have a new hitter coming into the game. It will now be number ten, Rayleigh Ellis, for his first at bat. He'll be coming in for number twenty two, Lucas Laxon. Still no outs here. In the top of the six, runners on first and second. Tragley at first, Daniel at second. First pitch to Ellis. Low for ball one. Here's a 1-0 pitch. As he said, he went around Ellis, that was. That makes a 1-1 one, one count now. One's across the board now. One ball, one strike, one out here in the top of the six. Here's the pitch. That one swung on fouled. That will be, once again, in the football field right behind us. 
Makes the one two count now. Here comes the one two pitch. I'll be low for ball two, makes the two two count, evens it up. As Ellis will call time, he'll step out of the batter's box. He'll step back in. Here's the 2-2 pitch. Low for ball three. Makes it a full count now. Here's the full count pitch. That'll be low for ball four, and now the bases are loaded once again for Loretta. That will now bring up number seven, Jaden Aaron, who his last at bat had a bomb sent down the left field line, in which ended up being a home run. So we're going to do the same thing here. First pitch, swung on, fouled. Into the football field once again. Here's our one pitch to Aaron. That's going to be swung on. That'll be fouled. Makes the 0-2 count now. As Aaron. Confidence got to be high after that home run and everything he sees that he likes, he'll more than likely be swinging on it. Here's 0-2 pitch. I mean, outside, that'll get away as everybody will stay put. Count now will be 1-2. Here's the one-two pitch, high for ball two. Evens count up, two balls, two strikes. Here's two-two pitch. Swing and a miss, four strike three. First strikeout, excuse me, second strikeout by Mosley. Second out here, though, in the top of the sixth. That'll be Fisher up to the plate for the Mustangs. First pitch. Low for ball one. It's a 1-0 pitch to Fisher. Swung on for strike one. He was counting up at one now. Here's a 1-1 one, one pitch outside for ball two. Here comes the 2-1 pitch. It'll be outside for ball three. Hitters count now for Fisher. Hitters count now. So that'll be low for ball four. And with that run will be scored for Loretta. Leads now seven to two over Lewis County.
Now, Case and Springer back up to the plate for Loretta. Base is still loaded. First pitch fouled. Here's that one pitch. Swung on four strike two. Here's the O2. Yeah. Outside for ball one. One two count now for Springer. With the bases loaded two outs here in the top of the six, Loretta leads Lewis County seven to two. Here's a one-two pitch. I'll be just outside for ball two. Two's across the board now. Here comes a two-two pitch. Swung on foul once again. Count will stay the same at two. Here's 2-2 two -two pitch once again. Swung on. Foul down the left field line, and we got a good battle between Springer and Mosley. Two -two pitch. Swung on. Sent down right field line. It'll be just fouled. Count will stay the same. That had a good piece of hitting by Springer. Home plate umpire going to get some more baseballs from Lewis County dugout. Here's the pitch. And caught him looking for the third out here in the inning. As... Loretta able to tag on another run. They now lead 7-2. We will be back here on the Exports Network for the bottom of the sixth. Company Real Estate is highlighting the beautiful home located at 786 Hillview Drive in Lawrenceburg as this week's property of the week. This spacious four-bedroom, four-bath brick residence sets on a picture-perfect three-plus-acre lot and features an attached, extra-large two-car garage. This is a solid, custom-built home with many updates, including a new HVAC system and tankless hot water heater, plus the price has recently been reduced. For more on this and many other homes, check out hoodcompanyhome.com or phone 931-762-762. 5816. Hey, this is Phil Hooper. Get the look you want for your favorite school, church, or business with apparel from HD Ink Screen Printing in Leoma, Tennessee. Got a logo you need embroidered or screen printed? Let HD Ink give you the professional look that sets the bar in today's world. We do fundraisers and custom designed apparel and so much more. Call today, 931 201 2961, or come see us at our new shop located at 26 Ingram Road in Leoma. Remember, HD Ink for the look you want and the look you deserve. This Saturday for nine hours only at Storied Lee Furniture, it's the incredible nine-hour sale starting at 12 noon on Saturday. Where for nine hours only, you can save up to 70% off bedrooms, dining rooms, outdoor living, and the largest selection of leather in the Tennessee Valley. And for nine hours only, a factory-authorized sales event. Save an additional 20% off on Flex Steel and Hooker Furniture. And all Kingsdown betting has been reduced. It's the Storied Lee's incredible nine-hour sale this Saturday only. Only at 12 noon. Going the distance with local sports. This is the X Sports Network. And back here in Hohenwald, Tennessee, here on the campus of Lewis County High School, as your Loretta Mustangs lead the Lewis County Panthers 7 2 here in the bottom of the six. And that will now bring up McDonald, the first baseman here for the Panthers. Still freezing cold here. First pitch. 
Ah, for ball one. Here's 1-0. That's going to be swung on. That will be a pot fly into foul territory. And Seymour on, on, that was that was Clint Seymour able to get underneath that one for the first out here in the bottom of the sixth. Now brings up Braylon Bean, third baseman. His third at bat now for the Panthers. It's 0 for 2 on the day. First pitch, high for ball one. Till so far has pitched the whole game here for the Mustangs. Here's the 1-0 pitch. Swung on four, strike one. Makes the 1-1 count now. Here's 1-1 one, one pitch. Swung on once again. Missed four, strike two. Here comes the 1-2 pitch. High for ball two. He was counting up two balls, two strikes now for Tidwell. Here comes the 2-2 pitch. Caught him looking for the seventh strikeout here for Tidwell. Another backwards K for Mason Tidwell. That will now bring up the right fielder, Dakota Hall. With two outs here in the bottom of the six now. Oh, his last at bat had a ground out. Pitch by Tidwell. In there for strike one. What a nice pitch there by Mason Tidwell. He's been on a heater throughout this ball game. Here's the 0-1 pitch. Swing and a miss for strike two. Makes the 0-2 count now. Tidwell throw two. That will be just inside. Makes the one-two count now. Here's the one-two pitch. Swing and a miss for strike three, and that will be the third out here in the bottom of the sixth. As back-to-back -back strikeouts by Mason Tidwell. They still lead the Panthers 7-2. to We'll be back for the top of the seventh here next on the Exports Network. Truett's Garage Doors in Leoma, Tennessee is your one stop for new garage door installations for all commercial and residential buildings, plus they offer full service on all existing doors. Need a new garage door opener? Truett's Garage Doors has you covered. As an Amar Gold and LiftMaster dealer, Truett's Garage Doors offers the best pricing anywhere in the area. A family owned and operated business, Truett's Garage Doors has been helping Tennessee and Alabama residents since 1999. Call the pros today at Truett's Garage Doors, 931-201-6464. Efficiency, reliability, accuracy. Move forward with your real estate sale or purchase with Title and Escrow of Lawrence County, the most experienced closing team around. Working with clients locally and throughout the state, we offer a wide range of services, including the expertise of an on-staff attorney, backed by our more than 49 years experience in titles and closings. We get the job done on time at a fair price and ensure every last detail is correct. Our goal is to give you peace of mind. When you work with us, you work with people who live where you do. We understand the importance of the real estate community and strive to build strong relationships with all parties involved in the process. Whether you're buying a home, selling a business, acquiring land, or anything in between, you're in good hands with Title and Escrow of Lawrence County. Put the most experienced closing team on your side. Contact Title and Escrow of Lawrence County today. Do you have a small farm, a big farm, or just critters in the backyard to feed? If you answered yes to any of those questions, then you need to make the short drive down to A&B Feeds in Etheridge, Tennessee today. Owner and operator Jamie Ayers has you covered and will treat you right. That's A&B Feeds in Etheridge, Tennessee.
going the distance with local sports. This is the X Sports Network. And back here at the X Sports Network, here in the top of the seventh, Loretta leads Lewis County, seven to two. New pitcher on the mound. That'll be low for ball one. That is number twenty, Ethan Ray. Here's the 1-0 pitch. That will be sent into the Lewis County dugout. Everybody's all right, looks like. Makes the 1-1 count now is Tibble leading things off for the Mustangs. As Tibble earlier in this ballgame had an RBI double for the Mustangs. 1-1 pitch. That will be sent into the 4-6 gap into center field, and that will be a base hit for Mason Tibble. That will now bring up number 16, Clint Seymour, back up to the plate. <laughs> Still no outs. Till what first. Here's pitch to Seymour. That will get away. See, or excuse me. That is actually Thompson. He'll take off for second. He was a courtesy runner for Mason Table. He'll be safe. Here's the 1-0 pitch. I'll be in there for strike one. Makes the 1-1 count now. One one pitch. I'll be swung on fouled. That was into the the back net. Makes a one two count now. Here's the pitch by Ray. So I'll be outside for ball two. He was count up two balls, two strikes. Here's 2-2 pitch. Swung on. Ground ball over to second. In time for the first out of the inning, but in the process, Dillon makes his way over to third, 90 feet from the plate. It will now bring up the designated hitter, Carter Daniel. Earlier in this game had an RBI single with Miles Moore on deck. Has one out here in the top of the seventh. Runner on third. Here's the pitch by Ray. That'll be swung on right back to the pitcher in time for the second out of the inning. Two outs now for Lewis County. Now Miles Moore will be back up to plate for the Mustangs with Jackson Tragley on deck. Moore, his last at bat, had a fly out. First pitch to Moore. Be in there for strike one. Here's that one pitch. In there for strike two. Makes the 0-2 count now for Moore. So two pitch, swung on, fouled. Count will stay the same. Here's 
Here's the one-two pitch. Fouled once again. Count will stay the same now. There's one ball, two strikes, two outs here in the top of the seventh. Loretta leads seven to two over the Panthers. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss for strike three, and that will be the end of the top of the seventh. As final chance here for Lewis County in the bottom of the seventh to either tie this ball game up and to go into extra innings or elite to win this ball game. That will be next here on the Exports Network. From our humble beginnings to today, Parks Lumber Company has continuously served Lawrence and surrounding counties for over a century. Although we started as a small lumber yard in 1896, we have grown to include everything you need to make your dream project come to life. No matter your building needs, our experienced staff will be with you every step of the way to ensure you receive the highest customer service and attention to detail you deserve. Visit us at 106 Second Street or on Facebook. We guarantee you will see working with PLC is as easy as one, two, three. For decades, First Class Charter has provided high quality motor coach transportation services to the Tennessee Valley. With numerous safety and cleanliness accreditations, First Class Charter is ready to make your group trip a reality. Contact us today by visiting firstclasscharter.net. First Class Charter, the official motor coach company of the North Alabama Lions. This is the X Sports Network. And back here on the X Sports Network. As, oh man, a good time here in Lewis County. As Loretta leads Lewis County 7 to 2 here in the bottom of the seventh. The final chance for the Panthers. <laughs> Has a little audio difficulty here in Lewis County. As leading things off will be number 20, Ethan Ray. As Lewis County has to get five runs to tie this ball game up and go into extra innings. Six to win this ball game. First pitch to Ray. Just outside. 1 0 count now. One of the pitch swung on. Fisher able to scoop that one up in time for the first out. And they're actually going to call him safe. As it looked like the throw was in time. Now brings up number 12, Hayden Jackson. So he had a RBI single earlier in this ball game. Still no outs, runner at first here for the Panthers. Here's the pitch. Outside for ball one. So that one will be sent into center field. Springer able to get underneath that one. That was actually sent into right field. Looked like it was going center. First out here in the top of the seventh. Excuse me, bottom of the seventh. As Loretta needs two more outs to seal the deal here in Lewis County. Now brings up number one, Max Tanner. Designated hitter. Last at bat had a line drive. Two Grant Fisher was able to catch that one, get the double play. Here's the pitch in there for strike one. Yes. Oh, and pitch. Swung on. That will be fouled down the right field line. Count will be 0-2 now. <laughs> 
Here's the 2 pitch. That'll be outside for ball one. As got to give credit where credit is due. Miles Moore has done a great job behind the plate for the Mustangs, keeping everything in front of him, make sure nothing gets away. It's a one-two pitch. That one gets away. Miles will throw over to second, not in time. And Ray will be safe at second. Counts 2-2. Two -two. Tittle so far throughout this ball game. Just on the whole game with eight strikeouts. Here's 2-2 two -two pitch. Swung on. Sent over to Ellis. He picks it up. Not in time. And Tanner will be safe at first with runners on the corner now for Loretta. Or excuse me, for Lewis County. Top of the lineup. Shortstop Kelsey for Lewis County. Head coach Zach Curtis will make his way to the mound for an infield meeting. And Mason will be done for the ball game. And we will have Lucas Laxton looking to close it out for Loretta. So while he's warming up, we will go to commercial break here on the Exports Network. Don't just find a job, find a career with Resource MFG. The team at Resource MFG in Lawrenceburg has the resources and experience to find you a full or part-time position right away. Now recruiting for open positions in Lawrence, Giles, and Murray counties. Whether you're entering the workforce for the first time or looking to take your career to the next level, let your journey begin with Resource MFG. Located at 300 Ellingson Street in Lawrenceburg, phone 931-570-2111 to jumpstart your career today. A local law firm respected throughout the state. Generations of clients have turned to Boston, Holt, and Durham since 1948. We assist individuals and businesses with their legal needs, including real estate, property closings, personal injury, employment discrimination, and family law. Our clients get the personal attention and convenience of a hometown law firm with the resources and ability to handle any case. Come see us at Boston, Holt, and Durham. Going the distance with local sports. This is the X Sports Network. And back here on the X Sports Network after a pitching change by the Mustangs as Tibble moves over to short and Lucas Laxon will look to close things out here for the Mustangs on the mound. As Kelsey once again back up to the plate. As runners on first and second for the Panthers. First pitch by Laxon in there for strike one, swing and a miss. Here's our one pitch. Swung on, fouled. Makes the 0-2 count now. Laxon looks over at first. Here's the 0-2 pitch. That will be low for ball one. Makes the one-two count once again. Good job by Moore. Here's the one-two pitch. Swung on, line drive into the 5-6 gap. That will be a run scored. And runners on first and second now for Lewis County. They now trail 7-3.
Now brings up Steely back up to the plate for Lewis County. One out still. That was a line drive into left field. That last play by Kelsey. Pitch. We'll get away from more. That was low for ball one. 1 0 count now. Here's a 1 0 pitch. Swung on over to Seymour. That gets away from him, and no one will be able to make a play, and the bases are loaded now for Lewis County. That brings up Withlow for Lewis County. The last bat had a fly out with one out here in the bottom of the seventh. And bases are loaded. As the tying run at the plate now for Lewis County. Here's the pitch. In there for strike one. So one pitch. Swing and miss for strike two. Makes the count 0-2 now. Here's 0-2 pitch. Swing to miss four, strike three. One more out for the Mustangs to end this ball game. Laxon his first strike out here in this ball game. Now brings up McDonald, the first baseman for Lewis County. One more out for Loretta to end this ball game. Here's the first pitch. That will be inside for ball one. There's 1-0 pitch. That one will be right down the middle for strike one. He was counted up one ball, one strike. comes the 1-1 pitch. Low for ball two. Runners are going to take off, and that's going to get away from Laxon. It'll be a run scored by Lewis County as they now trail 7-4. That was Tanner that stole home. Now runners at second and third. The count is 2-1 now for McDonald. Here's pitch by Laxon. That'll be swung on foul. Counts now 2 2. <laughs> 2 2 pitch. That's going to get away from Moore. And another run scored. By Lewis County, they now trail seven to five. That last pitch was a ball. Makes the full count now for Laxon. As runner only on third now. Here's the pitch. Swung on. That will be fouled out of play. Count will stay the same at full. It's like one strike away, one out away for ending this ball game. Here's the pitch. 
That will be a walk issued. And McDonald will make his way over to first. Now brings up third baseman Bean back up to the plate for Lewis County. Courtesy runner coming in for the Panthers. As the winning run now at the plate here for the Panthers. Loretta leads 7-5. Here's pitch. It'll be in there for strike one. Counts 0-1 now for Lucas Laxon. So he's looking to close things out. Seals the deal. Here's that one pitch. That'll be inside for ball one. Here's 1-1 one, one pitch. Swung on, four strike two, makes the 1-2 count now. Lax needs one more strike to end this ball game. Here's the pitch. And that was just outside. Looked good. Count evens up two balls, two strikes, as it look right down the middle. Here's 2-2 two -two pitch. That'll be outside. Makes the full count once again. Here's full count pitch. That'll be low four, ball four, bases loaded once again. Miles Moore going to make his way over to the mound, talk to Lucas. Is that Curtis Walsh going to make his way out from the dugout? Two out still, bases loaded. As Laxon, he will move to Laxon will move to left field as number 23 Dylan Thompson will come to the ball game, looking to finish things off for Loretta. So while he's warming up, we'll take another commercial break here on the Exports Network. Here at Heritage Automotive, experience the difference with our great sales department, service department and parts department. Now offering up to $10,000 off on all Chevy and GMC model 1500s. And we have over 30 lenders with some of the best rates in the market. Hi, it's Tad with Heritage Automotive. We want you to know when it comes to your vehicle, you deserve help, not hassle. With our 30 plus years of experience of being your local dealership, we're here to serve you. So whether it's routine maintenance, mechanical repairs, collision repairs, we're here to help. So give us a call today to schedule your service. Heritage Automotive, expect more, experience the difference. If you're stuck, then you're in luck. Call Tower McDowell with in-service towing, 24 hours a day, seven days a week for quick, reliable service. When you find yourself in a bind, in-service offers full service towing and recovery services as well, as vehicle lockouts, jump starts, and emergency roadside assistance. Family owned, family operated. When you need a hand, call in-service towing or ask for them by name. Serving Southern Tennessee and North Alabama. Phone number 931-843-9098 or visit inservicespecialties.com. And back here at Lewis County as we are back after another pitching change by Loretta is now number 23, Dylan Thompson on the mound. Looking to close things off for the Mustangs. Up to the plate now will be number 17, Dakota Hall. 
right fielder for the Panthers as the tying run at second for the Panthers winning run at first. First pitch fouled. Count now be 01. Here's the 01 pitch. Swing and miss, four strike, two, 0 02 count now by Thompson. Thompson, one strike away for closing this ball game out. Here's the 2 And that one will hit Hall, and that will be a run scored, and the lead is now 7-6, to six, Loretta. Now brings up Ethan Ray. Back up to the plate. We'll have a courtesy run coming in. Yes, yeah, Ethan Ray up to the plate now for Lewis County. His last bat had a single. He had a triple earlier in this ball game. Here's the pitch by Thompson. Outside for ball one. Here's 1 0 -oh pitch. High for ball two. 2 0 -oh count now. Here's the 2-0 pitch. High for ball three, makes a 3-0 count now. It's Ray ahead of the count. Thompson trying to seal the deal. Still two outs here in the bottom of the seventh. Here's the 3-0 pitch. In there for strike one, makes the hitters count now for Ethan Ray. Here's a 3-1 pitch. Swing and a miss, four strike two, makes the count full. Thompson, one more strike away from ending this ball game. Here's a 3-2 pitch. In there, four strike three, and that will end the ball game. As Dylan Thompson able to seal the deal for Loretta. As it got close at the end, but Loretta was able to prevail. They win this one 7-6 over Lewis County. They will improve to 10-2 overall in the season, 2-0 within the district, while Lewis County will fall to 7-3 overall, 0-2 within their district. So that will do it here at Lewis County, as Loretta will once again be in action tomorrow night at Lauderdale County. As my name's Hayden Burks on the call, joined alongside my producer extraordinaire, Kevin Wright. We will see you tomorrow here on the Exports Network. Good night. Going the distance with local sports. This is the X Sports Network.